Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, um, today's video is going to be a guide video. I decided to make this because I recently got a comment that I thought was really, um, actually kind of surprised me. I didn't, I didn't think that a lot of people didn't really know about this. Um, so I decided to actually just make this video just kind of to make a general guide. I think this will be helpful for newer players. As you can see today, I have my, I have my glasses on. I also have my, um, uh, my calculator up, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some, we're gonna have some Asian math time. All right, we're gonna have some bro math time. I, I don't I don't actually do math. I only do bro math. And if you don't know what bro math is, it's basically like bro science, but like instead of science, it's math. All right, that's that's what I do. I do bro math. Um, so the topic today is um, about stat distribution. I'm gonna be telling basically, well, kind of teaching you guys which which how to look at a monster and know that it's it has good stats or it has bad stats, um, depending on you know just kind of kind of what they what they actually have. Obviously, there this also comes with a lot of experience, but as a general rule of thumb, um, you do actually want the least amount of recovery as possible. Now, um, the comment I got was actually um, kind of to my surprise because I, I didn't think anyone else didn't really notice this. If you 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 guys probably might have heard that like you know like. Uh, nat 5s have better stats than nat 3s, you know, uh, nat 5s have better stats than nat 4s, and nat 4s have better stats than nat 3s, and um, that's that's mostly true, but then there are also monsters that have very, very poor stat distribution, but as a general rule of thumb, nat 5s will almost always have better stats than nat 4s. Um, better is kind of subjecti subjective, but nat 5s um, will, like this, but what isn't subjective is nat 5s will always have more stats more total stats than nat 4s. Um, so you can just take a look at the nat 5s. Well, to, I, I don't know how I can show this is not scripted, but I can actually just choose any any random nat 5 at, at random. Like I can just uh, you know scroll up and down, click something. All right, what's Shiva? Um, all right, he has 2,800 um, HP, 3,600 defense, 2,800... Um, two, 28k HP, 3,200 defense, 2,800 uh, attack, um, 2,800 defense, and 2,200 recovery. Now, if you add all those stats together and you divide the HP, HP basically is like times 10. You know, um, you know the effective range, like most HP monsters um, versus def defender monsters. You won't actually see defender monsters with 4k. Um, defense because you know defense actually has a d diminishing return. I think that's why the um, when the developers designed the game, they didn't make the f defenders have like super super high defense. Um, but you'll see sometimes see HP monsters with really really high defense. But that's actually not the point here. So if you divide the HP by ten, um, so it, we'll we'll basically just treat this like it's two thousand eight hundred. Um, and we we basically add that together. So we're gonna we're gonna add his total stats. We're gonna go two eight. Um, four one plus three six zero oh, two plus two eight one nine plus two two five four. Now we add that together, and it basically gets me um, around eleven k ish. One uh, more than eleven point five k. Um, in, in total stats basically if you add all his stats together now you can actually take a random we'll just take this wood nightmares that's beside him and we'll we'll kind of do the same thing for the wood nightmare um, we'll divide this by 10 so instead of that we're gonna have two six nine um, 0 2 Plus two, three, four, nine, and um, you might not get the exact same number, but it's it's very very close. Like if you add the total stats of um, the monsters together, if they're both nat fives or they're both nat fours, I won't do this for every single monster, but I just kind of ch chose two monsters at random just to show you guys. You can do this with any nat five. You'll kind of get the same results. Um, we'll we can actually do one more. We'll take the wood valve for example. There there are actually a few monsters that have special stats. I think balance type monsters might have like slightly higher stats than other monsters if I remember correctly um, but it, it doesn't actually you know it doesn't actually give you that much more so we'll we'll, we'll do, do this as well we'll go three um, zero two 
eight. We'll round it up to nine. Um, plus two, eight, nine, three. Plus two, nine, three, seven. Plus two, six, two, four. And then you basically you get this number as well, which is kind of the um, the same amount. So basically, um, stat distribution wise, what this actually proves is that basically all monsters, if you add them their stats together, we can do this for nat fours as well. We'll we'll, we'll choose a few random nat fours. Um, the comment I got was actually because of the water Mari. I mentioned that her recovery stat was very, very high, which is why her stat distribution is actually pretty bad, because a lot of her stats went to recovery. We'll, we'll take the Mari, for example, and we'll compare it to some random nat, um, other nat 4s as well. And you, you can see that um, the total stats of nat 4 monsters are actually lower than nat 5s. So we'll go 2, 6, um, 9, 3, um, plus... Two five, two one, plus two four, seven three, plus two four, three two. All right, um, and it basically gets me around ten k. So usually, um, Nat four monsters have about like probably around one k less stats than Nat five monsters. You know, in total, um, we can we can do we can choose some random ass monsters as well. We'll we can take this Yaksha for example. We'll we'll get to uh, Evil 3 level 60 and then we'll add its stats as well. So this is 2 9 um, 5 8 plus 3 1 5 3 plus 2 1 5 2 plus 1 9 8 2 and it gives me around the same amount so um, on average, most monsters like it won't. It'll, it might have a difference of maybe a few hundred, but it, it will never go more than that. Like usually, Nat fours on average will have less, less stats than Nat fives, and um, basically, it's a, it's around this range. It's around the average of about about ten k for Nat fours and um, one um, eleven point five k for Nat fives, and. If you look, if you can do this for any any monster, even including the light dark nat fives, you will get the same results. You will get that kind of the same around the same numbers as well when you add their stats together. That means that uh, monsters with very very high recovery stats actually have a lot of wasted stats. Basically, it means that their their um, you know potential for other stats is lower because a lot of its stat distribution actually went into recovery. And as you guys might might know, unless that monster is a healer, recovery is almost completely... Um, it has a, a very, very small... Um, a very, very small, like, bonus that gives you, you know, some a little bit of healing for, like, red souls. It also increases your, I think, healing when you actually get healed. But that is, like, in most cases, in most situations in the game, it's very, very negligible. So, um, for unless your healer is an actual healing, like, unless your monster is an actual healer, the, re the recovery stat is pretty much 100% useless, meaning that you want your recovery stat to be as low as possible. So as a general rule of thumb, um, if you click into any monster, you notice that its recovery stat is a lot higher than its other, you know, same star counterparts then you know that the stat distribution of that monster is actually very, very poor. Uh, as you can see, like the Shinobi has much, much better stat distribution than the Fire Artemis because um, it has a lot less recovery. And then that's why you have monsters like um, like Light Shiva, who has like super, super low recovery, and like you know he has super high HP and he scales well because he's an HP aggressor. You'll you'll know that his stat distribution is very, very nice. Um, and it's also very situational because, you know, obviously there are monsters like, if, you, if it's a light aggressor, um, the, the attack stat doesn't really help it too much. So you, you really don't want, like, attack on, on aggressor. So, like, for aggression monsters, um, if their stat distribution is towards attack, then that's also another waste of stat. So you can kind of determine if a, if a monster is, um, has good or bad stat distribution based on that as well. So yeah, I think I think that's uh, that's that's pretty much it for the basics. Um, you can actually go through a few monsters to 
to actually you know look at their stats and you can notice that you know monsters usually that don't have too much too high recovery are the monsters with better overall stats because the only stats that really matter are HP attack and defense recovery doesn't really matter all that all that much um, even on certain healers recovery is not too important like um, an example is you know Dark Cupid, for example, you mostly want him for his shield. So instead of recovery, you do want higher HP and stuff. But recovery isn't too bad on him, and he also has a, doesn't have a lot of wasted stats because his attack is really low. Because he's a healer, um, recovery is actually a little bit more useful on him than attack. He's also an aggressor, so attack is almost completely useless on this monster. Meaning that the like he has super super good stat distribution as a for whatever skills that he has. So stat distribution is also based on your skills, but as a general rule of thumb, for anything that isn't a isn't a healer, um, the less recovery means the better stat distribution. Obviously, you know if you want an attacker, you don't want super balanced stats, but also um, balanced type monsters have their advantages as well. They can be built as tanks, they can be built as ver attackers, they can be ver very uh, versatile, especially in situations where you you want to put a monster on defense, but you necessarily uh, that monster might necessarily not be the highest threat. And, but you still want to build a full tanky in case people do actually target it. A good example is like the Water Arthur. Um, if you put this monster on defense, a lot of times, um, you know, if you have a more threatening monster, for example, you have like a Dark Sea Star or something else on defense, then people are more likely to attack that Dark Sea Star instead of your Water Arthur. But then your Water Arthur at the same time is still very high threat because he has very, very um, like annoying. <laughs> A very annoying skill because he keeps boosting bars and he pretty much gets his bar full by the third turn usually so a lot of times I do like to you know if they have like another very high threat monster like dark sea star or something I would usually try to kill that dark sea star first and then kill the dark and then attack the water arthur and try to kill him before the third turn before he actually gets his aoe off um, and in situations like this you know having a little bit of extra attack even on a monster that you're building full tank is still very very good but if you just look at his overall stats, um, he has a lot of wasted stats in recovery, meaning that you know if potentially if all the all these like if 600 of these recovery stats went into his HP or defense instead, he could have been a really really nice um, you know tank monster or something like that instead of instead of being like this. But the good thing about him being a balance type is also like early game if you want to build him as an attacker with triple attack to farm B8, uh, he can also do that job relatively well because he. Although he doesn't have too too high of an attack, he has a very very nice morale boost, meaning that if you get him to six stars, evil two with like triple attack um, on valor or something like that, he can definitely you know just nuke through B A and farm it really really fast for you. So yeah, that's one of the advantages of balance type monsters. All this is actually very situational, but as a general rule of thumb, I think um, the recovery stat is usually most in most like just I wouldn't say all cases but, mo but most cases a wasted stat meaning that the less recovery you see on a monster um, usually means better stat distribution but yeah that's pretty much it I have a bit of like fur on my shirt it's, it's kind of really weird um, <laughs> god damn it I blame the laundry machine it made my shirt all linty Anyways, that is that is pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to look, how to determine if a monster has good stats. Obviously, um, you know, attackers want attack stats. Defenders and like HP tanks um, want a high balance of good stats. All right, there's actually a, another graph. Um, I can probably talk about this in another daily video. In 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 more, actually, I'll I'll talk about another video in in um, in depth. Um, talk about damage, like how the uh, in there's a there's a diminishing return for defense. The more the higher your defense actually is, um, there's actually a diminishing mi diminishing return, meaning that you can only stack your defense up to until a certain point, until it becomes less effective. Um, so I can actually you know talk a little bit about effective HP as well in a in a future video but this one is just a basic um look about you know stat distribution and stuff and hopefully that that cleared up some questions and um confusion that i might have caused because i actually thought this was a um, very common knowledge like something that a lot of people already knew um that's why i kind of just uh, you know when i whenever i mention like oh this monster has really this monster has too much recovery i just uh <laughs> I just kind of uh, don't really mention anything else, and I, I assume that you know people understood what I was talking about.
but that was my mistake. Um, so hopefully this this cleared up any confusion, and hopefully this help helps some of you out when you guys are looking at monsters and theory crafting and stuff. And I think that's it's a lot of fun, you know, just theory crafting. It's a lot more fun than just going to people and being like, hey, how do I gem this monster? And then, you know, using all these cookie cutter builds. I, I really like going into Monster Super League and theory crafting and just kind of planning out my own thing that nobody else has really thought of before. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.